Oh shit! Stop it in, guys! So behind me here is an abandoned World War II and Cold War era torpedo boat tunnel. And I thought it'd be a great fucking idea to swim through it because it goes around in like a horseshoe. The locals nicknamed this Hitler's Eyes because there's two. And you'll see more of it as I'm swimming through it. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> now if you're wondering what this metal netting is, they would have dropped it down for torpedoes to stop torpedoes from being able to be fired into the tunnel. But let's go for a nice leisurely swim. Nice and calm. Hopefully nothing's living in here. I don't know why I even thought about that. Fuck you, brain. <laughs> Let's go check it out. So, this place, it was originally built by the Germans. And then finished by the JNA, or Yena. The JNA was the Yugoslav National Army. You know, the, the post World War II era army that was in power up into the, the Balkan Wars in the 90s when Yugoslavia was dissolved. Now, through here, you can see hooks. That's where they would have anchored certain torpedo boats. Now, a lot of people say this is a submarine tunnel, but personally, I have never seen a banana shaped submarine. So, this is definitely a torpedo boat tunnel. Take a look underwater. And I've got something new for you guys. Here in a minute, I'll let you know what that is. It's to engage you guys a little bit more because I feel like, you know, I should be doing a little bit more to talk to you guys here. Now, something used to hang from the roofs as well. I couldn't find any old pictures of this place. But you can see the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel here. So, as far as these types of places in the Balkans, it's not like elsewhere you can just hop online and find something about the place easily. It's old school out here, you actually gotta talk to people and ask them. Now previously I did want to mention that I made a video of this area. This entire area in the St. Dante Canal was once called the Miniver Veras, which was a highly guarded Yenaf facility where they stored ammunition. Now in the previous video, I was probably wrong about 90% of the shit that I said. Oh shit! Fucking with you. <laughs> Hopefully this light is waterproof, I don't know. But uh... <laughs> now when I get through here to the other end, I'm gonna take a walk back through here show you that thing I was talking about for you guys. So stick with me here for a second. Yeah. 
So, I made it through the tunnel. Let me show you what I have for you guys. By the way, climbing out of there was completely necessary. <laughs> So one of the things I want to start doing with you guys, you know, to engage with you a little bit more is leave these little cards at certain locations that I go to. As I go back through this tunnel, I'm going to leave it somewhere. And, you know, if one of you find it, you know, leave me a comment. Take a picture, you know, let me know you found it. And we'll uh, work something out. And you see my expert spelling ability. I spelled tattooed wrong <laughs> on the first one. So maybe this will become... No, the back looks like that. These playing cards are actually from Malta. So, let's go see if we can find a place to leave this. I'm going to leave it in one of these like side recesses. So over here it's a little less obvious. I'm going to leave it here in this roof hook. So, I'm down the headlamp, but hopefully you can see it there. And it's in one of these recesses inside the tunnel. So let me know if you find it. That would be cool. Anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you watching as always. And you know, if one of you finds that car, that would be really cool. I mean, engagement, you know? And until the next one. Bye. Vidimo say.